Hi guys, I'm Leila. I'm here with the same quotes, which means I'm recording at the same time. I recorded just the past video. And I am back with another video and this is gonna be a short one. I just wanted to mention something about my Korean language course at Busan National University. It is about like the people in the office and how they are helpful. Yeah, I've got a couple stuff to say about it. Starting with the fact that they help you find a job, like a part-time job in Korea, which is so cool. I know for a fact that not all universities do that, not all Korean language courses do that for you, but in the Busan National University Korean language course, if you wanna get a part-time job, you can go to the office and you talk to them, but by law, you you have to have stayed in korea for at least six months on that visa so if you start studying you need to complete two semesters they call it semesters but it's just three months so after two semesters or two levels of korean language you can already apply for a part-time job like you need to have been for six months in korea in order to apply so the thing is like you go to the office and you say hey i want to look for a part-time job and then somebody's gonna come and talk to you and ask what kind of jobs and then there's a document that you fill and you can just you know check some boxes and also write down what kinds of job you're looking for like for example um convenience store or restaurant waitressing or i, I don't know there's a lot of kinds of stuff that you can try to find here uh and then yeah you give it to them and they will keep contacting you by either email or cackle talk and they will keep sending you links and jobs and say like hey you can apply to this hey there is this so you can go to some uh, job interviews for for the part-time job and yeah it's really not that hard especially waitressing in restaurant is really really easy and really common to get those kind of alba that's how they call it alba which is part-time job yeah it's very nice that they do it for you like you really don't do any effort except preparing for the interview so just go into the interviews so the last thing that I wanted to say about the, the Korean language course here at Busan National University is the, the office people, they are so helpful and it's so nice. Like I did have an experience where I tried to learn Korean before in a university in Seoul. It's actually like a big and renowned university, but I had the worst experience. And here, you know, like the people in the office, even if it doesn't concern them, if you have any issues any problems because you know we are foreigners and we have documents to fill and we have stuff to worry about like visa and document and you know it's just so much sometimes and it's so hard especially like i said like you don't know the language and you know like we need people to help us so it's really nice when you have those people there for you you know like they got your back they're there for you they will help you even if like I said, it doesn't concern them. They helped me so much so far. I'm so thankful for that. Because like in this other university that I mentioned, I felt like I was a burden. I felt like they didn't really want to help. I felt like every time I had to go to the office, I felt so bad. Like, ah, oh, I don't have to go there again. I, I think they hate me. But we have no other choice, you know. We're not Koreans and we need their help as foreigners here. Yeah, but not only that, they actually listen to us. If you have suggestions or complaints, they will actually listen. And that's that's really nice. You know, it's unbelievable. But there was a moment that the teacher was... I, I don't remember what she asked, but I remember that I answered that for us, it was very hard uh, during the, the speaking exams because, you know, we were all wearing masks, including the teachers. And we are already nervous because it's a language that we are not... You know so proficient and and when we are nervous it's even harder to understand the question and understanding the question is part of the exam and then on top of all of that we were wearing masks and we cannot see the teacher's lips moving and that's part of conversation right this is one thing that helps us understand you know not only the sound but the the shape of the lips while they move so that also helps understand a lot and because of corona we were still wearing masks and that made it extra hard for us during the speaking exams and the teacher was like mm, that makes sense and then two days later the teacher started the class by saying that she took my complaint it was more uh blurred out than a complaint you know but but she took it to the manager she said that they decided to provide transparent masks to the teachers for the next exam 
and I felt so nice because like I never never expected that anything would have been done regarding that matter like they actually did like and they provided the transfer masks to all the teachers so yeah I think that's it for today I am gonna come back with another video soon stay tuned